So, Patrick, let me ask you, first of all, what has this cost you to have this level of surveillance of your activities? A certain loss of innocence, I'd say. Um, I, I really was living in this uh, fairy tale where journalists are not special citizens, but you cannot spy on journalists as easily as what we've seen in this case. Now, now uh, some people, I'll stop you, because some people would say, well, why not? Why are journalists any different? Because if you have a judicial surveillance of, of journalists uh, with the means, all the means that the, the police can, can, can gather in a criminal investigation, quite simply, you might not have uh, any kind of relationship that's significant with sources who will tell you what the real score about issues are. Um, uh, oftentimes, you know, institution, and I think it's, it's normal, it's probably human nature, want to uh, propagate their truth. Well, I think that the truth uh, is something that does not always fit in a press release. Tell me, what have you learned about the level of detail that was obtained about your, your pattern of movement? Uh, look, I, I, I have not accessed yet, we have not uh, been able to access what they gathered on me. But what I know is that they accessed my metadata, uh, and, and so hence um, the, uh, the phone numbers that were calling me, that I was calling, same thing with the text messages, so not the content. If you want, uh, the, 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 that's what we call metadata. But the thing is, with metadata, you can track and you can uh, quite see who I'm talking to, uh, who I'm not talking to. And this is very invasive. And for a journalist, it's almost as bad as listening in uh, on my conversation. We learned this week that in addition to what was happening with you and Montreal police, there were half a dozen or so other journalists who had been watched at various times or, or had their call logs accessed by Sûreté de Québec. Let's listen to how police justified that. The reporters that were, uh, for which the warrants were issued were directly uh, at the heart of the investigation and we were trying to ascertain if they had committed criminal infractions. The explanations that you've heard in your case and just there, do they hold water for you? It, 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 it holds water if the only thing you care about is your investigation. If what you care about with a uh, much larger vision is you know, a, a free society, uh, democracy, well, no, it doesn't hold water. Quickly, before I let you go, I mean, we focused on journalists, and that's what we've heard about this week, but should Canadians at large be concerned about this, people who are not journalists? Yes, and for a very good reason. If you want to have a healthy debate, healthy debates uh, in this society, you cannot rely only on official truths. You cannot rely only on what spokesperson tell you. You cannot rely only on what you find in press releases. This is what a free press does. We, we try to get all the facts, even the facts that institutions like the police doesn't want you Canadians to hear about. So if we cannot do that freely, we cannot have healthy debate in this country. Patrick, thank you. No, thank you.